Hello, my dears. It's me. I'm back. It, uh, pardon the light. I, uh, it's dark out. It's like 10. 10 to 10. So it's dark out and I, I have no idea how to deal with the light. Sometimes I try. It doesn't work most of the time. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's coming, it's coming. Just don't touch them and we should be all right. Hopefully. Hoop. Yeah, because if I, if I remember well from the other one, it's just like, do not touch them. Uh, you're fine. If you touch them, I think you lose a little bit of life. Thanks for getting us through that, Mr. Saito. I couldn't have done that without you. He's so happy. I hope there's a way around because I don't want to do that again. Um. Well, now. What was the voice that I gave to that thing again? I don't remember. Hi guys, it is I, Undefined. I really do not remember the voice of Undefined, even though I did it, what, five hours ago or something. <laughs> Once again, communicating to you across the void through mathematics. How did you even get a calculator to work as an intercom? You definitely could have been a sphinx of electrical engineering. Yeah, you're like really smart. Oh, well, I... Um, well, I mean, wow, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, wait, I, I think I just thought of a new riddle. Good God, I wish I could remember his voice. Let's hear it. Okay, here goes nothing. Hmm, not this one, because this one is hurting my voice. You can't do this. You are the Sphinx of Math. One hand, long like... Llama warm, one hand short like a cave, but measuring something that flies like a mini mori. What am I? That's your clue. And once you know the answer, think like a mini mori. Um. Oh, it's a watch. Well, a clock. Whatever you want to call it. So if that's a clock, that means that this is 12, so this is 1. So if that's 1, this is 3. Like that. 5. And then this goes here, and boom. There we go. You found blue stone key. Perfect. Lovely, isn't it? I wish I could remember your voice, Sphinx. I don't. I really don't. I actually, I'm actually very tired. I shouldn't be recording today. Why do I have to go through this again? Can you give me like a fast pace? I don't want to do this again. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? Don't touch it. Oh! Um... Do we have to go in and do it all again? Nope. There we go. We're outside. We got the blue key. What's on this way though? Oh, it's a bird. No bard! Yeah! I thought it was no whole bard. Bards, like plural bards, you know? Mr. Saito, look! It's a poster for No Holds Barred! Whenever they come out with a new song, I always memorize Liu Bud's part. Cool! Good for you! Pick up the Mini Mori? Sure. We pick it up, we take it back, and then we go all the way back, and then we go into the blue thing. Oh, that was good. We first take it all the way back and then we come back to this door. There we go. Only two more? Not that bad. Okay, we can do that. Nice. Oh my god, the, you, you're big. Pick up the... Yes. 
<laughs> I love his face while he's picking up like this gigantic bird. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> I think I'm hearing my cats making a lot of noise outside. There we go. Great. Great. I think that gigantic one that needs to eat is going to end up here. So that's something. Oh, the door opened. It was my cat. Hi, Katsumi. Katsumi is my other cat. Usually it's May that comes in and sits on top of everything. Katsumi is a little bit more chill. Right, here we go. Oh. Basta! Oh my gosh! Mr. Saito? Are you okay? Brandon? That's my boss up there. What is he doing here? Do you want me to throw something at him? What? No! He's my boss! Us. Okay, just making sure. Saito! Is that you? I have to change his voice a little bit because he comes from the deep part of the throat and he hurts so much. So let's change Bosto's voice. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! Saito! I need your help! Please, come here. I will explain my situation. Uh, yes, sir. Alright. What do you need? Don't tell me that you don't understand the puzzle. Sir, I have no excuse for not being at the office today. I'll work. Saito, please. Find my golf balls! What? I'm in such a pickle. You see, I took a new client to play golf today. I took the new clients. Everything was going quite well until... Until... S sir? Come closer. I don't want to say this too loud. Yes, sir. I... I got a hole in one during today's golf game! No! Saito, you cannot tell anyone about this. I... Oh no, the insurance. I don't have hole-in-one golf insurance. Oh no! <laughs> that means that he has to play and uh, he has to pay for golf equipment for everyone for the rest of his life. He's doomed. What's hole-in-one golf insurance? Is this your small pink sun? Sorry, this is suffocating me. No, sir! Hole in one golf insurance is very important. In golf, a hole in one is very lucky. So you expect it to buy your friends and colleagues lots of gifts if you get one. Expensive gifts! I see. Like bars of gold. Precisely. Uh-huh. The client saw my fantastic swing, but before they could confirm the results, I gathered all the golf balls on the green, threw them into a ravine, and told the clients that the bear had eaten them. I came down here to dispose of the evidence, but this Minimori... They're playing tricks on me! They hid my golf balls and surrounded me with stone statue versions of themselves. You have to help me, Saito. And small pink son of Saito. Okay. Locate two golf balls. Then push them into the bottomless pit over there. As you can see, I assemble a nice ramp using train tracks that were given to me by the clients. They're top quality train tracks, Saito. I see. Find two golf balls, then push them off my train track ramp into the bottomless pit. If you do, I'll give you this lovely relic I found here. Is this a red key? Some sort of uh, red stone key. Yes, sir. Why must I be so talented? <laughs> ah! 
suffering from so much success, Bosto. Ah, I shouldn't have started to record at 10 at night with a sore throat. Anyway, apparently suffering brings joy to some people that watch my channel, so <laughs> I guess we're gonna do that. I don't know if I have to think like a mini Mori at the moment, but why not just think like a mini Mori anyway? Oh! There you go! Okay. Then I was, uh, I was indeed correct. I had to think like a mini Mori. This does not look right. Okay, maybe this is right. And then you put, uh, like this. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hoop. There we go. One hole in nine. I need to find one more. I think it's on the five over there. No, no, you stay there. I need this. And I suppose this is the one? Yeah. Very good, very good. We can do that. Help me, little sin son, pink son of mine. I never thought that one day I would have a pink son. I'm very happy about it, actually. I always wanted a pink son. Hole in 15! Are you counting how many times I pushed it in there? Fantastic work, Saito. As promised, here is the relic I found here while I was gone. You found Red Sunky. It's a good thing you somehow knew that you needed to be here to help your boss. Good proactive decision making, Saito. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I planned that all along. It was all part of my marvelous plan. I noticed that you needed help, sir. And I came all the way to help you. Hi, Sphinx. I wish I could remember how you sound like. I don't. So you have a different voice. Probably I don't have enough straight in my voice to keep doing your voice anyway. <clears throat> I can do old lady's voice with this voice of mine. Well, well, what do we have here? Some adventures, perhaps. Come, rest your feet and have some tea. Thank you for knowing that my feet are tired. Is it okay, Mr. Saito? Can we rest here for a bit? Do you know her? Not personally. Well, she's an Antonian. Obviously, I mean. Aunt Onions are always nice. Okay, sure. I mean, I cannot deny nor agree. What brings you two here today? We're trying to find the flooded Chamstone Caverns. If we carry enough Mini Mori back to their meeting ground, the door to the caverns will open. Well, isn't that exciting? You two must be very strong. Mr. Saito is very strong. Mm. He even carried a Mega Mori! Muscles! <laughs> Mr. Saito is so strong! Ugh. He's gonna defeat everyone. How's my door? That door's fine. Maybe I should close it a little bit. So this llama worm is helping you? Yes, he's so nice. He's keeping work today to help me fulfill my dream. I mean... <laughs> uh, that's cute. And I know that means a lot. Because he has a really important job. He works for Cytocorp, making buttons for the underground tunnels. Well, isn't that just wonderful, dear? What a nice young man. He thinks I have an important job? Ah, he's so happy! <laughs> oh, it's so nice when you have an important job. Every job actually is very important. If you think about it, Every job is important. What? 
Would you both like a cup of tea? I would like a cup of coffee, but it's like again, it's 10 at night, so. I need to go to bed later on. Yes, please. Thank you. All right then. Help yourself to some cookies too. I would love some cookies. Oh, Aunt, Aunt Hanya and I want some cookies. Most buds your age wouldn't want to have tea with an old Aunt Anya like me. Oh, most of my friends are senior citizens. They are? I mean, he lives in a hospital. That says a lot. Well, that's interesting. Why is that? Well, my grandma is kind of a young grandma, so she has to work. She cooks food at an old folks' home, so sometimes I get to go there and hang out with everyone. We talk and watch TV together. Sometimes we play cards. But I gotta be careful with that. Some grandpas there get really upset about losing, so I try to let them win. That's very big of you. You don't mind losing? Not at all. I think the whole reason to play games is to have fun. So I don't mind losing if it means everyone can have fun. I love Brendan. He's such a nice child. Oh, what a nice baby. Please, Brendan, be my son. I want you to be my boy. What kind of kid is this? Letting adults win so their feelings aren't hurt? That seems backwards. Really, the only thing I don't like about having mostly senior citizen friends, you have to get used to saying goodbye a lot. Yeah, I know. Saying goodbye is never easy. Grandma said I have a lot of practice for someone my age, but that's okay. Because I believe they're in a better place. Someday, I'll get to see them again. Thank you for the tea and cookies! Of course. Thank you for sitting with an old Aunt Onion for a little while. Oh, before you go, help yourselves to what's in that treasure chest over there. Maybe it will help you on your adventure. I hope we meet again someday. We will. Me too, Granny. Or Aunt. Aunt Onion. I found a decaying hunks of tree trunk chunks. Great, I know exactly what to do with that. It will be a very long walk. I need fast travels. Ah, here we are. Now I can trade it for the food. For the big mori or something. Hello. Welcome to Saito Mart. Can I interest you in today's sale item? Yes. <gasps> that smell. Do you have decaying hunks of tree trunk chunks on your person? Maybe we do. Does that sweeten the deal? Oh yes. I would gladly trade you my sanitizer wipes for such a delicacy. No money required. It's a deal. You received handy sanitizer wipes. Great. Now we can walk all the way back to the very big Megamori sitting on the washway or something. Waterfall. Give them the food. And maybe he'll walk back and we'll have water. And maybe we can get the other mini Mori and finally open that cave. Hello, sir. Shall I interest you in some uh, hand sanitizer wipes? Please feed me if you can. Feed him. Hand sanitizer wipes. These are my favorite. There we go. He's fed. He's gone. But we fixed the problem. Does that mean that we can get to the boat? Oh, there goes the boat. Sail away, sweet prince. Wait, no. We need them anymore. <laughs> just goodbye, my friend. 
We might see each other again. Stop that. We need that. There he is. Well, at least it's going to be easier to pick him up this time. Where are your friends? Like the onion guy and the, the glowy thing. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Mr. Saito. Thank you. Yeah, I, apparently I just came uh, out of my fear for Minimori because of a child. Thank you, child. Now I'm not scared of birds anymore. Isn't that the sweetest little kid? I mean, he was pretty much ready to give up on all of his dreams because Mr. Saito was terrified of birds. And yet, uh, Mr. Saito got away with that. Oh, wait a minute. We need that big guy. I can't believe you found six Minimori. You guys are amazing. Thank you. We are. Mr. Saito was incredible. You should have seen him. I did see him. He is incredible. <laughs> happy face. No, happy face. He belongs in a museum. Uh... Wait a minute. What? I don't know. I don't watch JoJo, so I, I have no clue. But I think he's more based on the uncle of one of the JoJo's. The guy that says, Oh my god! Or something. I, I don't know. I'm just not sure how we're gonna get that last one. Hmm. I thought that he was going to come by himself. Hey! Hello! Where'd you come from? The dirt. Did I hear you looking for a Minimori? Yes, we are. Check the Kinoko Matsuri Club. There's one in there right now. Man, how are we gonna get them to let us in? Don't you wear a disguise or something? Oh, that's a great idea. Oh my gosh, I could dress up as you once. You do look a lot like him. Thank you so much. If you're dressed as little buds, they let you in for sure. I just have to find some sunglasses. I think I saw some sunglasses at the Saito accessory store. Is that the place next to Saito Mart in the train station? Yes! Whoa! Come on, let's go get your disguise. <laughs> so cute. But if that guy is there, that means that the stairs next to the apartments are open, right? Not that I'm going to go back all the way there, but I guess it's open. Eventually we'll get there. I don't think I have money to buy sunglasses though. I'm pretty sure I'm empty. I have a total of zero G. So how am I supposed to buy that? A pair of sunglasses. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. I heard that some skybots actually eat roses. Right. But I need the sunglasses. So how do we... Welcome to Saito Accessories, the accessory store for Saitos. Please feel free to browse our high quality products. I am interested in high quality products. Do you have to buy them with money? Um, yes, of course. That's too bad. You know, I myself am in accessory business. I make friendship bracelets. Where are you going, Saito? See this pattern? I made it up last week. I think it looks very stylish. Oh! That is stylish! The colors were actually inspired by labels. Why are you looking so shocked over there? That's why I decided to use pink and lavender string. Oh, I really like that one. I actually have a client that collects Lebo crafts. Is that so? Would you by chance be willing to trade a bracelet for say? That pair of sunglasses over there? I think I'd be willing to make that trade. Fantastic! Here is one Lebo friendship bracelet and... 
head? Are you hiding over there? Ah, he's looking at the... Say, would you be willing to trade another friendship bracelet for the purple tie over there? The one with all the desserts on it. Um... Yeah, I think I can do that. Great, it's a deal. Here are your bracelets. Courtesy of K. Bud's Craft. Tell your friends. Enjoy. Thank you. Feel free to help yourself to your new accessories. Hi, Mr. Saito. I negotiated. Very entrepreneurial of you. Does that mean you can get those sunglasses now? Yes. And you can get that purple dessert tie that you like so much. What, uh, what tie? You're funny, Mr. Saito. I traded a friendship bracelet for it. The tie is yours now. You should try it on. Ah, uh, he's shocked. And he's happy. <laughs> well, go on. Oh, it's a nice child. Does he look cute on it? Well, let's see it. <laughs> he looks adorable. Wow, so cool. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> you look great. This tie has donuts and slices of cake on it. Just like white toast cake. He traded one of his little handmade bracelets so I could have this tie. What a nice thing to do. Are you okay, Mr. Saito? Come on, Brendan. Go put on your new sunglasses. Yeah, Brendan. Let's go. Let's get your sunglasses. I have a little tie now. I didn't say tie before because I could not remember the word for tie. <laughs> Brendan transforms into... Little buds. Let's go to the Kinomok Matsuri Club. He's so cute! <laughs> Look at him go! Look at this boy! <laughs> Look at my boy! <laughs> oh, my boy! He looks so cute! <laughs> oh, if Brandon dies at the end of the game, I am going to cry like a child. There we go! Now we are uh, dressed up. Hey there! Where do you think you're going? <coughs> Yo, <gasps> little butts. Who do you think I was? Some kind of hooligan? No, not at all. We just didn't see you at first. How sincere is apologies? Apologies accepted. Now, if you excuse me. But of course, please go right in. Wait. He's with me. <laughs> Who's that with you? We don't have a llama worm on our guest list. <laughs> Shit. Um. He's our backup dancer. <laughs> Not the backup dancer. I see. Alright then. Go on in. Have a good show. Good job, Brennan. I really love this tie. <laughs> I don't think it was the tie. Alright then. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're actually here! Is that the music group that you like? No, Bard! I am so happy that my glasses fell off! Okay, they're back on again. Mr. Saito, look! It's the final Minimori! That... By Mini Mori, I actually mean Giga Mori. Giga Mori. Is he gonna be okay, Mr. Saito? I guess we'll find out. Right. <gasps> it's the Christina! <laughs> I'm having the curry special. It's a Mont Blanc with chestnut coconut fill filling. Filling? Tony, my boy! 
Well, Tony's also from Rakuen. Some weird bearded llama worm keeps asking me to be on his reality show. He says he wants to dangerously audit me. Bears don't pay taxes. Oh, but you will. <laughs> you will. Okay. <laughs> he vanished. Um, be careful, Tony. I'm glad to see Christina so grown up. I also remember you from Raquen. Rupert! The bugs here are definitely not cold. No, definitely not. Are you like my my little little buddy? Ah, uh, you're the sugar baby. <laughs> yeah, I knew you had a weird name. Oh, uh, whoa! You're real llama worm. I live in the Skylands, so I've never met a llama worm before. Do llama worms wear pants? No, we wear a singular pet. <laughs> a singular pet. <laughs> Sugar baby! Truffalo. Have you ever eaten dirt mousse? Yes. Once. There is a layer of soil, then mud, then more soil, then more mud. It's delectable. Good for you. I come here for the mud la lattes and the music. Why everybody drinks mud? Why is my clothes suffocating me? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't need my mouse. How I... Bee dog, you are also from Rakwe. What are you looking at? It's a green donut, okay? You look like you've never seen someone eating a green donut. It's a green donut, okay? Green donut that's shaped like cabbage. Get off my back. Alright. I mean, it's probably good of you to be eating that. I cannot even get to the, the giant thing. Whoa there! It's a long dude and a little dude. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Today there's a special guest performing with uh, No Hold Bard! <laughs> I think his name is Yaktabud? Anyways, enjoy the show, love dude and little dude. <laughs> hey, you! Over there! Oh, shit. Uh, I don't remember seeing a llama worm on today's guest list. It's the llama worm, sir! Me? Yeah, you! Come over here. I need to talk to you. It's okay, Mr. Saito. If things get rough, we can make a run for it. Okay, I'm scared. Sir, I'm gonna need to verify that you're on today's guest list. He's my backup dancer. I'd still like to confirm his identity for security purposes. Now, Lama Warm, sir, if you could please tell me your name. My name? Don't give him your real name, Mr. Saito. Yes, what is your name? My name is... Make up a good fake name! Uh, uh, I mean, everybody... that It's a llama worm, it's called Saito, right? Your name, please... Saito! No! His name is Dorlando! <laughs> Dorlando! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You're an imposter! <gasps> What's going on? Someone acting a, acting a fool. Oh no. I have to help Brandon. Ah, he started dancing. Hey, everyone! Look over here! <laughs> My name is Saito! Mr. Saito. Now, that is some mighty fine dancing. <gasps> there he is! <laughs> Little butts! That's my name. What's yours? I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you, Brandon. We look a lot alike. We could be twins. <sighs> So, Llama Worm, you said your name's Saito. 
Yes. I like your style, man. I ain't never seen moves like that before. You're a good dancer, Saito. <laughs> Everybody's happy here. So, why'd you guys sneak in? We're really sorry. It's just that we're on a mission to bring Minimori back to their ancient meeting ground. If we do, a path might open to the flooded Jamestone's cavern. I've been waiting to go there my whole life. It might be only my only chance to go. He's really brave. So, you're saying that you want to move the Jigamori over there? Yes. That seems pretty reasonable to me. I don't see why we can't let you do that. Thank you so much! But before you do... How would you two like to come up on stage and join us for our next song? What? Really? <laughs> yeah, you too got style. What you back there? What you did back there? That was so chaotic good, like us. I'm so happy. I feel like I'm going to die and then barf. <laughs> Come on up here. Yeah! <laughs> cool. No Bart! Let's go. Oh, look at that! That's so cool! Do they actually have a music this time? I don't think they had one in Raquen. <laughs> Again! Oh, Mart! Whoa! Let's go! No buts! Yeah. Let's go, gonna start the show I was once a little flower, but a plant has to grow Now we're stepping on the scene and the lights start to glow Oh, that's Laura! I don't mean disrespect, I just wanna keep it real Gotta change the subject This here is a tea party, in case you didn't know The party is on and I think that you'll like that We're bringing a hype, no holes barred on the song Raising a stink on the mic, but extending the love So the soiree is long and I bet we'll be best of buds If you're impressed with the funk since the bars are the bomb But you are in the wrong if you think you're better than us Don't poo-poo the recipe of our musical pedigree Like your poo doesn't ever reek, just remember the flush Pedals down, feet on the ground We don't even care at all Fancy kings and queens That's not a scene It's a tea party Come and dance with me Where's Lil Butts? Is he gonna sing? Forget a tea party, we'd rather be bards and be part of the beef Consuming the beef with these bars Soon as we charge into the scene, the tea starts spilling and leaks Inevitably, cause he's not Maxwell It's Lil Buds, a real buzz is built up for real just Chill dad, you will buff the skills once you get a load of it But no stones, we don't want them, not a hooligan, I don't hold grudges Pedals down, feet on the ground We don't even care at all Fancy kings and queens that's not a scene, it's a tea party. Come and dance with me. It's my tea party, and I walk by one, two hands in the air. You be hanging with my crew. We know what's fired, and we bring in an old school. Before the chairs and Tony that you don't follow your rules. Except, hi, you should brush your teeth. Be nice to your mama and get enough sleep. He Mawadi on the first line of defense I told us Texas saves you dollars and cents Ladies and gents, wizards and nets Gather around, folks come from miles Just to hear our sweet sound Pound the ground, no way wrong game This is a Yoshi, best boy, get Kami Karuta Boshi You used to have me walk 10 feet behind And now you showing me love? Yeah, make up your mind, one of a kind Done with the grind, it's time to shine Cause the wizard's never early, she starts right on time Pedals down, feet on the ground We don't even care at all no holes barred! Fuck yeah! Oh, I shouldn't do that. Oh my god! Saito! 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 <laughs> you can do it, 
Mr. Saito. Come on. <laughs> Saito, Saito. <laughs> that guy there looks unimpressed. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Put it on. Fuck yeah, we did it. <sighs> Mr. Saito, you're amazing. I am hot. <sighs> ah, why did I put the onesie on? You guys actually opened the door. I've never seen something like this before. An ancient Minimori meeting ground. Filled with Minimori. This is fantastic. I can tell they're happy too. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well... Now that we have a full house, I certainly have my work cut out for me. I'm gonna make this the best Mini Mori Cafe in the whole underground. <laughs> so tell me, do Mini Mori have a transformative power? Have you learned more about yourself, about life, about inner length and inner strength? I think Mr. Saito has definitely gotten stronger. <sighs> <laughs> I feel bad for Mr. Saito. So, Brandon, are you ready to see your flooded gemstone covered? That's a million percent ready! Have fun, you two, and thanks again. You come back and visit, okay? Okay. Goodbye, Archaeoloto! It's time. We're gonna see it. The gemstone covered. Where is it? We're gonna get there, right? Or are we going to find more puzzles in the way? I wonder how it looks like. Every time I stop to drink, something happens. Whoa! Is that a mini Mori? It's so cute! It's beautiful! You're right, Brandon. This is beautiful. One of the people I met in Grandma's work, his name was Mr. Sasaki. He lived to be 87 years old and said that the only regret he ever had was that he never biked the Lumen Rock Canyon. He said that at night, something special would happen. The stones in the canyon would glow so brightly that you didn't even need the light. But he put it off and put it off. And once he finally had that time, his body didn't work anymore. He looked so sad when he told me this. That's when he made me promise to visit my dream place. That's why I had to come here. It wasn't just for me, it was for him too. So you, um, spend a lot of time at the old folks' home your grandma works at? Yeah! Well, before Morizora said I had to stay behind at least, I spent a lot of time there. What was it like? There's always someone to talk to. <laughs> That's nice. I don't like it though. You wanna know something I learned there, Mr. Saito? Sure. Old people have done a lot of things because they're very old. Brandon? One lady traveled around the world and saw pyramids in a giant lizard. One guy was famous for a while because he wrote a song that got really popular before I was born. One guy even built real trains! I 
used to think that doing a lot of stuff like that always made you happy. Especially if you made a lot of money or were a boss or a famous person. But I was wrong. Sometimes, the happiest old people didn't do anything like that. In fact, the thing that made them so happy was to do nice things for other people. Stuff like washing someone else's dishes when they broke their leg, or bringing over soup and playing cards with them if they're sick. Do you want to know what I learned about happiness, Mr. Saito? The happiest people were the ones who had loved the most. I can see that. Anyways, thank you for helping me keep my promise, Mr. Saito. I'll never forget this. Yeah, that was fun, buddy. I think it's time to go now. I should take the next train back before Grandma gets worried. I'll ride back with you. Really, Mr. Saito? You mean it? Really? Come on, let's get you to your train station. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Do you remember how to get back to the train? Yup, it's right next to Saito Mart. Let's go. We can stop at Saito Mart to get some snacks for the trip if you like. <gasps> really, Mr. Saito? Really? Oh my gosh, I love snacks. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, let's go to the let's take this little buddy to the train. It's fine. A little bit of a longer episode, who cares? We're living such a happy moment. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to stop to get snacks, right? How do I get snacks? That brand has bottles we no for eating. Okay, where is snacks? Do I need to talk to you about getting snacks? Where do I get snacks? Do you like Saito sticks? You know those corn chips that have stripes like llama worms? Or do you find them offensive? What? No. Why would I find them offensive? Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. Because I love corn. Okay? <laughs> Saito brand instant noodles were developed by a Saito. Okay. I'm not interested in this. Uh, okay, Curry. Do I talk with you about the snacks? Do you have any melon pen? Certainly. In fact, I enjoy the decaying hunks of tree trunks so much that this melon pen is on the house. I'll throw in some canned coffee too. Thank you. I got melon pen and canned coffee. I always wanted to eat some melon pen. Like, really? I can hear the train! The train station is right up there. Yep, yeah, we just need to go here. Let's go! We got some snacks. Where, where are we? Oh, right there. Attention! The train will be arriving shortly. Sure thing. Then we just wait for the train, right? Do I remember you? Are you the, the Sabato? Hey Saito, did you start going to work at the same time as me? <laughs> Nobody's home. Ah, it's arriving in 10 seconds. Maybe if I sneak into the office, Bosto won't notice how late I am. <laughs> Alright, attention! Rapid Saito train bound from Morizor's cave is approaching. Please stand behind the safe zone and wait. Come on, Mr. Saito, the train's almost here. Hey, there was someone home. I saw the blinking eyes over there. Oh, I'm going with him to the Morizora cave. Okay. How did I sit down? Trains are cool. <laughs> Yeah, they, they can be. I like the thing outside. Brandon? A while back, you asked me a weird question. 
I ask a lot of weird questions. That's true. What did I ask you, Mr. Saito? You asked me if I was hunted by anything. Haunted. At the time, I said no. But I lied. The truth is, I'm haunted by a lot of things. Some days, I feel that no matter what, I'll never be enough. I won't be able to handle things. I'll never be rid of this empty feeling inside of me. The truth is, at some point, it felt like everything around me was unraveling. And I really started believing that there was no place for me here. It was too much for me, Brandon. So, last week, I tried to run away from everything. I tried digging to the center of the world. Mr. Saito. But as luck would have it, I failed. As I was digging, I hit a giant rock. Wouldn't you know it? But if I hadn't hit that rock, I would have actually made it to the center of the world. And then, I never would have been able to come back. I'd never be able to see the gemstone caverns or ride on another train. I met you. I'm so glad I met you, Mr. Saito. Me too, Brendan. You helped me with so many things. Things I thought I'd never get to do. Maybe someday I can help you with something that's important to you too. Brendan, you already did. No, <laughs> the cry. Oh, they're hugging! <laughs> what was that? I felt like the train hit something. Mr. Saito. I think it's time for me to go now. But we haven't got to the next stop yet. Don't forget me, okay? Brandon, you're disappearing! Goodbye, Mr. Saito. Brenda, wait! I'll never forget you. Goodbye, Mr. Saito. Is he out of the... Morizora Forest? He's back to his old life, apparently, like I predicted. When he left the hospital, of course he would be back to his old life. Being a salary man in Japan is not easy, is it? Or is this someone else? Because we felt the train passing on top of something. Mr. Saito? Mr. Saito, can you hear me? Mr. Saito. I have good news. All your tests have come back. And it looks as though you're clear to leave the hospital today. Oh. Well, I'm... Um... Are you okay, Mr. Saito? Yes. Yes, I'm good. Great. Well then, feel free to get changed and gather your belongings. And don't forget to head down to the reception to finish up your paperwork. Okay. Right. 
So that was actually what happened to him, like the fall that he mentioned. Brandon? Are you hiding somewhere? Nope. Brandon's gone. I had to check my cat, sorry. Uh, remember, if you experience any of the symptoms listed on that sheet, give us a call or come in. But other than that, you should be good to go. Thanks. Today is a new day and a beautiful one at that. Where's the where's the sound? Where's the sound? Why is there no sound? Get out there and enjoy for me, okay? <laughs> sure thing. A new day. It's broken. There is no sound. <laughs> I think it's okay to not have a sound. Wait. I'll try to put a sound on the background. I'm glad I caught you before you left. Something wrong? No, not at all. It's just that one of our patients was very insistent that we give you this present before you left. He said it took him all afternoon to make it. Why is there no sound? Why is there no sound? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I thought I, I broke it. Ah! Uh, get well, Mr. Saito. Love, Brandon. Ah, uh, that's so cute. Brandon is fine. It's time for the credit. Oh, it's finished. What? Person who made this game? Lara Shigihara? Okay. Artisan of the basic man, Stephen Davis. That was short? That was really short. Eggplant artist that likes drawing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wow, Lara Shikihara. Okay, yeah, she made the music. More art. Okay, Amy, Matt, Stephen, Laura, Pixar Art Worm. Disciple X was little buds. Annoying music, Toby Fox. <laughs> hey, isn't Toby Fox the guy that made uh uh the the, 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 the Undertale? He's the guy that made Undertale. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, everything is right. Look at that. Oh, Brendan did not die then. All right. But why was it so short? I was expecting a, a, such a longer game. I did not expect to finish it now. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Overall, fantastic little game. It was a really fun little game. But compared to Rakuen, Rakuen was so long and so filled with things. Oh, look at that. Hey, his, uh, his things look like the, the tie. <laughs> he made two for himself. That's awesome. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you for making it. I really thought that this game would be much longer than it actually was. Because Rakuen was very, very long with like several cuts and several things to do so this one surprised me for being this short is it going to have more wait apparently that was it that was really it i loved it i absolutely loved it that was mr saito fantastic game absolutely adored it so if you also liked it as much as i did please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more i'm going to play tons of other games besides this one and as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. I'll see you on the next day. Bye-bye.